I wish that we could go online to Dollar Tree and order what we wanted and the quantities that we wanted, not having to buy cases of them. That would be so nice <clears throat> because I don't always need 24 of one thing or 36 of something, you know. Maybe Dollar Tree one day will get that option for us. That would be wonderful if they could. That way, some of the things that not, because it seems like not all Dollar Trees are the same. Like me in, here in Missouri where I'm at, I live in the southwestern part of Missouri. So um, my Dollar Trees are behind, it seems like everybody else's, like, Whatever everyone else is hauling from other states, my Dollar Trees don't get until like six months or a year later, it seems like. I don't know. But I, maybe it's just me. I don't know. But anyway, I'll go ahead and stop rambling and get started and show you guys what I found. Um, so the first thing that I found is this really pretty sign. And it says love on it, which I think this is so pretty. It does have the galvanized um, letters right there and the uh, wooden, like the faux wood background, which I think is really pretty. This is a very pretty sign and it's a really good size. It's, this thing is huge. So, um, and I know that this is uh, new this year. They did have some signs that were um, what they had last year and I already have some of those. So... Um, I wanted something a little bit different, and I really liked this one, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, what I'm really looking for is the gnome signs. Like, I've seen the ones that are, like, the galvanized um, <clears throat> metal with the little gnomes on the front, and then um, I've even seen someone haul um, a large size, uh, kind of like a gnome a little gnome guy <laughs> anyway I think it's so cute but none of my Dollar Trees have had them and even the little plushy gnomes like the little stuffed gnomes I can't find anywhere and I have gone to every Dollar Tree in my area which where I am where I live I live way out in the boonies so there is nothing here I have to drive I have to drive for at least half an hour um, 45 minutes to a Dollar Tree so anyway I did find this one though and I think it's really pretty so I went ahead and grabbed it and then um, I have been waiting for these to come in my Dollar Tree and they finally had them in one Dollar Tree and it's the um, I think it's the I think you can get this at Walmart but it's the floral craft design it wire wreath form I don't know these may be a Dollar Tree um, product but I don't know for sure yeah I don't know for sure I just know that it's um, from I think the brand is design it but anyway they are these um, wire wreath heart-shaped uh, frames and these are bigger than the ones that Dollar Tree carries um, that's on that's made by Dollar Tree so I did grab three of these but these are huge. These are so big. I don't know if you guys can, can tell how big these are, but they're very, very big. So anyway, I've never made a wreath on this big of a heart shape uh, frame before. So I'm excited to try it to see what I can come up with. I don't know. <laughs> um, also, in the Valentine's Day section, um, and this is in relation to wreath making so if you're not into that then um, I'm sorry <laughs> but I did find some really cute ribbon now some of this ribbon they've had before they had it last year um, but I did find a couple of rolls that I've never seen so anyway I went ahead and grabbed this one and all of these are two and a half inch wide wired ribbon and they are all nine feet so there's uh, this one right here which is really pretty. I don't know if I can get the glare from the ring light, but um, it's got, it's like red with little red glitter hearts all over it, which I think is really pretty. And I did only grab one of these, and I don't know why I didn't grab two, because typically I grab two of each kind of ribbon, just because um, usually you're, you're going to need two. 
But I don't know why I didn't grab two, but I wished I would have because now when I go back, it won't be there. <laughs> um, so anyway, grab one of those. They had this one that's just plain red. Um, just plain red. I think it's really pretty. So I grabbed one of those two. I didn't grab two. I don't know why. They had this pink one. It's the same. I don't know why I only grabbed one, but I did. Um, these others, let's see. This one I thought is really pretty. Um, it's just got a bunch of different colored hearts on there. Pink and white hearts. So I thought that one's pretty. And yes, I only grabbed one of that. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. But um, these, I think they had these last year because I was going through my ribbon stash for Valentine's, um, the wreaths that I'm making. And I did find some of this that I already had. But it's the um, red background with the white hearts. And I did grab two rolls of that. Now this one was new. They didn't have this one last year that I know of because I feel like if they did or, and I saw it, I probably would have grabbed it because I love ribbon. Um, but it's the red and white, like gingham. Just, I think it's so pretty. So I did grab two of these, which now I'm thinking I may have, should have grabbed more. And I know I'll probably never see this again. So, uh, kicking myself. Now these two, I did get just two because that was all they had. And I looked out because anything that has anything with a truck on it goes like that where I'm at. So um, this one though is so cute. I don't think they had this last year. It says, you're my person. But it's the um, little farm truck and it's got the bed full of hearts. And then it says, you're my person on the tailgate. So I thought this was so cute. And I really wish they would have had more than two. But the two was all they had. And um, I know this will not be there when I go back. So anyway, that's kind of a bummer. Um, okay, so in the floral section, I went and grabbed some more florals. Um, these are just for, like, wreaths that I'm probably going to be doing here in the spring, in the summer. Um, I'm just trying to think ahead. So I did grab this bunch and it just says wild flowers on it. But I mainly grabbed this, not for the flowers, but for the greenery that's on there. I think that greenery is really pretty. So I did go ahead and grab one of those. And then these lilacs, I feel like they're different, or I guess it's lavender. It just kind of looks like lilac to me. But it's lavender, and I did grab two of the purple, this dark purple. They did have some that was a light color purple, and then these white ones. Um, these are nice because the, um, the leaves part of it is, it looks fuzzy, but it isn't. So, I don't know. I just thought these looked different, and they seem like they're made different than what they usually are because... Um, I don't know it's hard to describe but they're like I don't know how you describe it exactly they're kind of hard like they're glued I don't know I don't know how to describe it but they are made a little different than the ones they usually sell and um, I don't know to me they look a little more realistic when they're made this way and I tried to look at every bundle that I picked up to make sure that it had a flower on every stem. Well, I don't know how I missed it, but when I got home, this one is missing one. So I don't know. I don't know how I missed that, but I did. But that's okay because I'm probably, um, I won't be keeping these on the stems. I'll be cutting them off um, and probably gluing them in to a wreath or something. But anyway, I thought they were pretty, so I went ahead and grabbed just one of the white ones. Um, okay, so I'm almost done gathering stuff for my beauty giveaway, and um, I noticed I did not have like a angled brush, like a small, uh, maybe something you would do uh, your eyebrows or something with. So I found this one. It's by Wet n Wild. It's the angled liner brush, which you could use this in like a gel eyeliner. Um, <clears throat> 
if I can show that without, uh, I don't know if I, if you guys can tell, my camera doesn't focus for some reason whenever it's front facing. Um, but anyway, went ahead and grabbed that for the giveaway. And then also for the giveaway, I decided I was going to put in some of these masks. These are, I don't know, the packaging is so cute. Just, I don't know, eye-catching. It grabbed my attention, and so I went ahead and grabbed three of them. We have this one. It looks like a little panda. It's the coconut mask, um, animal panda face. So I'm assuming that maybe the paper mask that's in there has a panda face on it. I don't know, <laughs> but I think it's really cute, so... Um, I did grab one of those to put in the giveaway. And then this one says Honey Glow Mask and Magic Unicorn Face. So I'm assuming this one's got a unicorn face on it. I don't know. <laughs> That's really cute. And then this one says Aloe Vera Mask, No Drama Llama Face. So I'm assuming this one has a llama face. But anyway, <clears throat> I thought those were so cute, so I went ahead and grabbed those for the giveaway. So um, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so that you know when I upload that video. Uh, that is the end of my haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day. I wanted to thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!